Guys, quilted back inside Sapelli. Just shimmery. This finish is so deep and beautiful. I mean, you would swear. I think if you walked up to this thing with a light burst, you would almost think for a minute it could be Koa. It is so beautiful in person. And uh, this one has an Engelman spruce top. We don't see that a lot. And this is really highly bear clawed. And the interesting thing is, when I seen it and I first strummed it, uh, I was just like, man, that is shimmery. We need to do a video comparing it to your basic 314 and your 814. So check this out. I'm going to do the same chord progression. It's almost like the EQ curve is like this. Just fantastic. Now, of course, the 814 flagship model. So my other impression after playing both of those and then playing this again is just that the, the low end and the mids, it's a little bit compressed in this while those highs just shimmer out. So, I mean, if you've got a really fast moving low end, uh, you know, you don't have to add really much compression to the mix. It's easy to record, sounds great, but that high end really cuts through, especially if you're playing with a lot of other people. So really, I'm very pleased with this Engelman top on this and just some great appointments on this the Sapelli and the abalone inlay along with the Gota 510 tuners the neck is even pretty uh, it's pretty uh, figured so you usually don't see that a lot this thing is just it's, it's really a treat very simple very subtle and uh, the good news is it doesn't sound like any of your other guitars so uh, you're free to make another purchase and I don't think anybody will mind <laughs>